Hello, everyone. Tonight I'm here with our Docker captain, the Kosar Nuno, here on Azure Tire. How are you, Nuno? I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you, Fernando? Oh, I'm good. Today, oh, hey. I sh today I share with you guys, there is a tool I'm using for a year. It is the Penguin. This is the first Linux distribution made for the Windows subsystem for Linux. And this is awesome. It saved my time. Okay. I'm working as DevOps on Penguin, and it's so easy to set up my Windows. I will show to you guys how to use that. So just go to the Windows Store and search your Penguin. We have a version Enterprise that is like a red hat, and we have the Penguin that's a Debian. It's, I think they're still using, um... Not CentOS, the other one, uh, but yeah, it's the enterprise uh, flavor. Yes, yeah, the, yeah, the enterprise flavor is red, red hat like with yum and the red hat juice. This one here, the penguin, is is a Debian. Is yeah. the, the derived by Debian. So let's install here and show the options we have. Let's launch here. Let's create my username, password. And I would That's like it. to use the new, yes, yeah, is it? It's installed, but it's not. Let's remember to use this Penguin setup, but I like to run on the Windows terminal. And here's the Windows terminal. Okay, just so, yeah, just before you you go there, uh, just click again on the small uh, choose yeah picker. So uh, historically, uh, can you just do a control uh, Windows Plus? Sorry, I will do my Scott and Solman right now. <laughs> oh, Windows Plus. Yeah, Windows Plus, the plus sign. Yes. I'm, ah, oh, right. Okay, here we go. So if you choose just above, just choose the yeah, the oh, small oh, picker. Man, I, I know, I know, it's magnifier. Come on. <laughs> Mark. Okay, so just click now on the small. Uh, yeah, here exactly. So here you can see that the name we know it because we followed them since uh, the very beginning, but uh, W Linux actually that's the initial name of the package and the first uh, upload into the store of Microsoft. So that's why you have this W Linux, uh, which is Windows Linux, okay? And uh, maybe six months, one year later on, that's when they came up with the great name of Penguin, okay? So W Linux, whenever you see that, is actually your Penguin uh, distro. Oh. So cool, I started to use when it was called the Penguin but let's show you the Penguin setup. This is the co-think. So setup. Continue. You can put down the magnifier. It will still be uh, running, but uh, yeah, no problem. No problem. It's here. Good. So Penguin setup. Okay. Penguin setup and upgrades available. Yes. All right. So it's doing everything for you. Without yeah, so now we have this. We can select everything. Editors, I will install some editors. GeoWi, yes, I will install. Maintains, I, I will select everything to show the options. We have except uninstall because we don't need to mm. uninstall, right? So the editors, you have Nelvin Code MX. You can run the code natively inside the Linux or we can use the code connected as you should do. So I will start here only a max. Not uh, new Vim. Uh, you are an Emax person. Oh my God. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Uh, oh. All right. So one, one thing that it's important here, um, the setup, uh, you choose, okay, you choose everything, but the, the thing is like, there's some, uh, tools 
that will be installed outside Penguin. And I'm speaking now about the X server. OK. Yes, the X server is important. It is a red pre installed and load here. If I see where is my cursor, oh, maybe, ah, it's better. If I see here, I have my X 410 running. Mm. That this is important to run. But I know the penguin, it, where is my penguin is running? Is, uh oh. Might have crashed. It's, yeah, yeah. It's uh, my head crash. Okay, no problem. We can run. The penguin is tall again. Penguin set up top. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's bad when you don't know your own password. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Just, just a second here. Just uh, right. Just put the, the magnifier. window magnifier. Uh, no, no, not the magnifier right now. Just uh, yeah. yeah, okay, but that, that's good. So here, if you just stop, yeah, perfect. So now, if you look at there's the editors where you were, is like requiring X, okay? So this X window. Now you also choose, and that was I was about to say here is like the GUI. So install an X server, okay, or various other. GUI applications. So GUI is a graphical user interface. So by doing that, when you choose this one, this one is the only one that is a bit special because it will install, uh, I think it's VCXSRV outside your terminal, okay? Outside your, uh, let's say, your terminal realm. So that's the only one that will install actually uh, uh, an application, all right? So when you choose it, uh, it will normally run another uh, exe that is outside. OK, so just be mindful about that. It, they don't hide it, but it's uh, installing for you something outside the terminal. Oh, oh good. Let's. Oh, how yeah. can I just escape escape or uh, Windows? Yeah. OK, but le le let's select what I really use now. So I select this GUI programming services and settings and tools. Uh, let's go here. X. This is important. It configures the X 410 to start automatically when you run the pen the penguin and you always see your windows and this with them is good to configure it. Uh, if you have a, a right resolution uh, screen, it's like 4K, it's good to install this ADI DPI. Do you have a comment about this package? No, the, the only thing here uh... That's like I said, so if you choose, don't choose it, but if you choose, if you didn't have any X window, okay, uh, application, which you have right now, you can install, see this exactly, the VCX SRV. This one will yes. install it outside, like I said, in, outside your terminal. Now, the, the nice thing that you can do is uh, you can see that it's also installing terminal. So if we were doing it from the normal terminal, it will also install this one that we are using now, but you are already using it, so don't choose it. Now, one thing that is really cool that I didn't saw too much because we were using that during WSL1 a lot, and then it stopped a little bit, but is the start menu, meaning whenever you will now install an application with a GUI, all right, it will actually create the menu uh, entry inside your windows. So if we install, I don't know, like Terminator, for example, which is a terminal from a Linux world, uh, you will see the Terminator uh, in your windows. Yeah, try it. You'll see. Yeah, Just... I try it. Yeah, please do. Let's try. And OK, it's installed. And is everything easy? Okay, so it will. Okay, 
I never say it's working. It's like a good idea. The LX press, yes, install it. And the master dark team icons. And everything's automatically. We don't need yeah, to exactly. think too so much if it's installing or and no. that's the strength. And that's really now uh, I'm going a bit commercial now on Penguin. Guys, listen to me. Uh, Penguin brings this easiness that all other distros don't okay the other distros are pure linux distributions okay uh on the command line penguin to differentiate them went really like this really uh let's say embedded uh experience okay you have all batteries included what they say right so you really have these menus that will help you have a full interrupt not just wsl but really interrupt uh, experience so you can install things that is outside the terminal because you are within windows at the end of the day right um, you can install tools inside and now the start menu is really the the thing that you can show that okay we can have um let's say applications running inside window or uh, wsl available as if it was uh, applications on windows you'll see you'll see so just continue and, uh, yeah. just, just continue i'm selecting i use how node and python because it's what i use in the work it's download the the nodes downloads the python Package manager. So, but I also use the Ubuntu on the WSL, and this is easy. You can do sudo apt install, but you need to configure the things later. If you don't have time, if you are like a Windows guy that like to have everything easy, this is the best distribution for you. Yeah, like again, these menus will save you hours. Yeah, it's not. I will skip this. I, I'm only showing the things mm -hmm. we have here. Uh, no, um, uh, this is the right click on the explorer is really good. Um, again, that's the interrupt. Uh, let's say interrupt option by interrupt is uh, the terminology that came up when we started speaking about how can you make WSL and Windows work together. They, the interruptibility, okay? So that came this word about interrupt world, if you want, between the two. And Penguin is really pushing forward all these small interrupt settings that you have here, okay, the right click menu, the start menu, the installation of other software outside the WSL. And this is was really like what WSL will become actually when the GUI will come in and maybe other menus, other installers will come in. So Penguin was really like always thinking ahead and that's what uh, is so great about the product. As during the WSL one, this Docker thing here from the Penguin was my favorite because it was so easy to get the Docker working inside the exactly. Penguin. Now it's easy. This is the things I'm, I use to work as well. Terraform and the Cloud GUI, not GUI, the Cloud CLIs, and I'm done. I'll be ready to work. Just copy my SSA keys and I'm ready to work after that. Beautiful. But this is this is the the penguin. Uh, thanks to show me how these things for our watchers, and it's always good to have you here sharing knowledge on the. Azure Thank you. Tar yeah, no problem. A pleasure, and uh, talk to you very soon. I'm sure. So, see you. Bye bye. Come